Hey guys, it's Jules with Stop Drop Disney. How is everyone doing? I have missed you. This week has felt very long so far and I'm so thankful it is Thursday. You can even hear it in my voice a little bit and hopefully it's not too scratchy for you guys today but I have not had a lot of rest and I just couldn't wait to film this video finally for you guys. So, but now I have not one, but two cool Etsy things to show you. One is this awesome white rabbit mug that I found on Etsy and the other is this super cute figment bag that is just too cute to handle. Um, so I'll be kind of walking through those two items and then towards the end of the video I'm going to kind of talk about some of the Disney New Emos things I'm excited about and two items that I have ordered to receive from Shop Disney. So if you're interested in these topics, please keep watching. And if you love Disney as much as I do, subscribe for other cool videos like this one. All right, guys, so this white rabbit mug is everything I dreamed it would be and more. I love it in person. I loved it when I saw it on Etsy and the $12 price point really got me. Unfortunately, the, this seller only appears to have had one of these, but I did see them online if you just search um, the names I'm going to tell you in a second. So on the base of it, it says Omnibus, and then it says by Fitz and Floyd. So that is how you might want to search this mug. I think also if you just type in White Rabbit Mug in Google, you might quickly find this in the images. Um, but I was searching particularly in Etsy because I couldn't, I had seen a really cool Mad Hatter mug and I still haven't found it. And so that's how I ended up finding something else that I love is that I was searching for the Mad Hatter. But I am so thrilled that I found this because it's just full of really cute details. I love the brightly colored flowers, the seed packets, the tools. They've just done a really beautiful job of making, of really telling a full story in a mug. So even on the back, it says dance card in a slip in his hat. And I thought that was really cool. Um, just because sometimes the back of a mug is rather plain. And if that wasn't there, it would be kind of plain. But you still, of course, have that really nice handle and um, the ears kind of creeping around back because they're not sticking up which i'm really thankful that they didn't do pointy ears at the top and they are sort of like flowing back because um you don't have extra things sticking out that might get damaged now i'm actually not planning at this time of drinking out of this mug ever i'm strictly going to be using it as a decoration with my alice in wonderland um collection but some people might drink out of it. And the more you use a mug like this, um, I have broken a number of mugs. So that's part of the reason why I'm not gonna be using it um, as a real mug because I just don't wanna break it or damage it or have any of the color on it get scratched up. But you could, it's definitely a really nice size mug. I happen to have a lot of mugs, so it's not gonna be a hardship that I'm not using this as a mug. Um, I think I might even have like, I might even at times display it with a Disney New Emos like standing inside it or something like that because it is such a large size mug that I think that could be cool. I was thinking of putting the White Rabbit New Emos in it and taking a photo. Um, but what I really like about the face of the white rabbit is it's rather calm and pleasant. He doesn't look angry or anxious as he sometimes does in Alice in Wonderland. And, you know, it's just sort of a nice, pleasant expression on this white rabbit's face as if he's just having a really nice day and thinking about fun things maybe like gardening because this is a very gardening-esque mug but then they've just given him a ton of details so not just the top hat with all of the gardening accessories in it but also just having a really nice big uh, bow tie at the bottom and they have this flower on him 
and even they've given him this bright yellow collar which is really like a nice pop of color and connects to the yellow of the flowers above so he is looking very dapper and you can't miss the really nice glasses that he's wearing on his nose so just a very dapper white rabbit and on the handle there's also this nice like stem of a flower almost with the green that comes up and it kind of like almost looks like it's either gr like long grass or potentially the stem of a flower and there are flower details on here as well as leaves so i mean there's just a lot to look at on here and the light just picks up so well on the paint that they've done and like a nice gloss finish on this as well so yeah i'm really thrilled with this are any of you mug collectors i would love to know in the comments if you've been collecting mugs and if this is your style of mug that you like to collect i don't have any other mug that's quite as fancy as this one and I'm really excited that I was able to find it on Etsy and they packaged it really, really well too. I'll leave in the description the shop that I got it from. They have a ton of different like vintage antique um, products on there. I didn't see necessarily any other else in Wonderland products, but um, they have a lot of stuff. So it's kind of hard to go through it all. And I'm sure they're adding sort of consistently to their inventory. So so yeah i'm just really excited to share this with you guys because it's so gorgeous and then the, the other thing i wanted to show you was this really really cute figment bag so i got this figment bag from sue mini style i had found them a while back probably i think kind of around the holidays because what i saw from them was a figment stocking that i loved and they were already sold out of it at the time and then i was scrolling through their instagram page and i saw this guy and I thought it was just so adorable along with all their other bags. They actually have a Chip and Dale bag. They have a bag of Chip and a bag of Dale in this style where it's the head of the character. And those are also really, really cute. Um, but Figment was out of stock. They hadn't come out with the Chip and Dale bags yet. So I decided I'm just going to follow this really cool account and hopefully they will pop up with Figment again. And what do you know, the figment popcorn bags became, uh, or buckets became really popular. And so with the uptick in search for figment, I'm sure it made them think, hey, we got to bring the figment bag back. So they just had them in stock. And I, of course, missed the stock again, but they had a note I read in the description that if you were interested in one, but you missed it, that they would make more. So I wrote to them and I said, hey, I missed your Figment bag release, but I would absolutely love to have one. And they did another release and that's how I grabbed this Figment bag. So if when you are seeing this video, they do not have Figment bags in stock, definitely reach out to them either on Instagram or on Etsy and see if they were, will be coming out with a, another inventory um, release because they definitely are a smaller shop and they probably need to know the interest level before they start creating a bunch of them but it seems like they are interested in hearing from you and kind of like creating bags to order so i would definitely message them and 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 check it out if this is the bag that you want but even if it's not this bag they have really cool like bow bags and they have a paint palette bag right now that's very cute and it's just a palette of paint with a paintbrush in the center of it that would be so cute for the arts festival um so but figment is just my favorite and i thought this bag was just so adorable and not just figment himself but i also love the rainbow strap and the fact that it's a slim bag so i have a lot of bags as you have seen before i have a lot of backpacks or like chunkier bigger bags this is a lightweight bag in comparison to a lot of the bags i have and yet it still has a lot of storage 
So that's one of the things I like about it. And I do like bags that are conversation pieces. So it doesn't matter to me that his head is like the size of mine. It's actually like bigger than my head because it's a conversation piece. And I think it's going to be fun to wear this around, especially if you're near Disney World or Disneyland and you can go into the parks. I mean, this is definitely gonna make you some new friends, but I'm not near the parks. I'm just a Figment fan and I'm very happy to have it. I will definitely be displaying it on my wall of bags as well. Um, so I just could not be more thrilled. So let's take a look at the details. So first off, there is an adjustable strap on this. Some of their bags, they have two different sizes. So it's important to kind of take a, like, a look out for that because they do have child sizes in certain bags as well. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you get the appropriate size for whoever you're ordering the bag for. This, this particular bag, they only had adult strap sizes in, um, but I'm sure you could kind of ask them if you needed a smaller strap or a smaller bag for a child. Um, but I really, really like the strap because it is really bright and rainbow colored and that there is a clip here as well. So if you are wearing something where you don't want to throw this over your head, but you just want to kind of put it around you and clip it, you do have that option. Um, or if it gets stuck when you're trying to pull it over your head, you have the option of unclipping it. Um, so I do, I definitely like that. It's only a clip on the one side. So just so you know, you're not going to fully take the strap off, but I don't think in most cases you would want to or need to. The other nice thing about it is when it has a nice zipper pocket back here so you can open it pretty wide and definitely you can fit your sunglasses in there, phone, tissues, cash, whatever you need that is an essential is going to fit back here. I don't know if I'd go as far as putting like water bottles in it or but you probably could fit like one water bottle in here if you really wanted to jam pack this bag i i like that it's a flat bag so i wouldn't do that but there is a good amount of space in this bag and then you can zip it closed so that it is fully like protected whatever you have in here it's not gonna fall out of your bag so i de definitely like that too for walking around um, whether it's the parks or anywhere that you might be going because I'm someone that does tend to lose things so it's always helpful when you have a zip pocket and there are as you may have seen no interior pockets inside the larger pocket um, I often don't use those even when bags have them but they're kind of nice sometimes um, but it's really the face of Figment that sells this bag. It's so cute. I love that they've done the nice stitching to give the horns their detail on the top of his head. And they've done the perfect color for his eyes. And, you know, it just, the expression on his face is just exactly like you would expect from Figment. So. I'm really, really pleased with this bag. I think it's adorable. I think if you're a Figment fan, whether you got the popcorn bucket or not, this would be a fun thing to, to carry around. I think it's definitely something that's going to be more useful on a daily basis than the popcorn bucket, though I definitely want a popcorn bucket if I could ever get my hands on one. Um, but I, I'm really just in love with this bag it's so cute it's just so cute i can't handle it so what do you think of my new figment bag and what kinds of cool bags do you have a figment i do have a bag um it's actually like a little backpack that i got a figment when i first went to disney world with my family so i still have that it definitely needs a good wash um but this will be I, I really don't wear that out because it is older. This will be definitely more useful on like a regular basis, just even for storing things that only had like a little section in the back of it. So yeah, I'm, I'm really pumped and excited about this Figment bag. I will be leaving a link to this Etsy store on in my description. And 
you know, if you are looking for this bag or one of their other bags that you see on their Instagram, like I said, definitely like reach out to them and let them know that you have interest if it's not in stock because they are very friendly and, you know, who wouldn't want a cute little Figma bag like this one? So last topic I wanted to share with you guys are some of my Disney New Emos updates. So I did order a skater outfit. I had been waiting for those to show up on the website. I ordered the one with white skates. And I also ordered this cute little like aerobics outfit that they had. Um, the reason why I didn't order both of the skating outfits is I am trying to be careful with what I order, just like not ordering as much. And I felt that the most unique part of the outfits were the skates for that, you know, for those outfits, especially for the one that had the black skates, because it's really just a t-shirt and pants that come with that. Whereas the one that I ordered came with a dress. So I thought that was probably the better option for me, but they're both super, super cute and definitely looking forward to seeing what the skates are like. Um, and then that allowed me to get the aerobics outfit, which was something different and I thought a good item to share with you guys. So that should be coming pretty quickly and hopefully by next week I'll be able to film a review of that. So I'm really excited about that. And then right now they have a ton of sales going on. I always order too early because they have free shipping today. They have like a three for two deal going on and they still have a lot of good outfits and characters on there so if you are watching this video today definitely check out shop disney and i'm just waiting to hear who they release next for the disney new emos i'm really hoping it's snow white because she was released internationally at the same time as Belle, so I'm hoping that they'll do Snow White next. But there's a lot of characters I would like to see. Maybe they'll surprise us with a character we've never seen before. Who knows, but I do hope that they release another character this coming month, especially since it's Valentine's Day. So people might be giving Disney new emos as gifts. You never know. So that's my Disney New Emos news and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and thank you always to the people that comment and share what's going on with them. It really means a lot to me. So thank you all and I hope you have a great weekend.